This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm sure that right now, in your house, or in your office, or wherever you are, you could probably find at least three of these USB 5-volt chargers. This one happens to be a 2-amp. You can find them all over the place. I mean, they are just everywhere. I mean, if you own a cell phone, you probably own at least one of these. And, you know, they've been around for quite a few years. They output 5 volts. But in recent years, we're getting to see more of these ones that have the uh, USB-C power delivery. They can deliver up to 20 volts. And wouldn't it be nice to take advantage of that to use as a small portable power supply? I mean, this thing is uh, 65 watts. So how can we do it? Because you can't just plug in a USB-C cable and expect to get 20 volts on the other end. You're only going to get 5 volts because it just automatically goes to that. The uh, These power supplies are designed to look for a signal on the USB lines. I generally think they just have a couple resistors in there to tell it what to do. But that signal tells it how to behave and what its output to be. So you need a way to basically trick this into thinking it's been told what to do. I mean, you're not really tricking it, you're telling it what to do. But the idea is, you know, in the, in the medical community, they would call this off-label, using this for something it's not supposed to be used for. And that is where these little guys come in, right here. So this is a uh, decoy or in this case, it's called a PD trigger. But as you can see there, it has a bunch of little LEDs, 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 15 volt, and 20 volt. And what these little boards allow you to do is what we just talked about. Take one of these really nice, you know, 65 watt power delivery chargers, plug in one of these triggers, and now you have access to that voltage. So, let's hook it up and see. Okay. So, I hooked up just a couple of uh, DuPont wires here. And it's labeled on the bottom. Plus and minus. The oranges are going to be our plus. So, we'll hook that up to the red lead of the meter. <laughs> I wonder what the computer wanted. It's uh, what time is it currently? 7 a.m. I don't know why Microsoft is bothering me at 7 a.m. All right, so we've got this all hooked up. Uh, plug in our power supply. Let me zoom up here a little bit for you. All right, power up the decoy board, and it is on the first dot, which is five volts, and of course you see five volts. Nine, twelve, fifteen, twenty. Well, what I'm seeing here is very cool. To me, you basically have a little portable miniature bench power supply with almost all the voltages you need 3.3 volts is kind of lacking but if you really need 3.3 volts you can do a voltage divider but yeah look at how cool that is let's uh let's take a look at what kind of uh power it can handle then all right i've got the uh, miniware little mini dc electronic load set up here wired to the uh, trigger board, decoy board, whatever you want to call it. Let's power it on. We'll start at 5 volts, 10 watts. Yeah, it seems to be uh, doing pretty well. I'm 
just watching the voltage here. Staying pretty solid. It is definitely dropped below USB voltage, so, you know, bear in mind on that. All right, let's try 10 watts at uh, 9 volts. It's holding that much better. All right, uh, 10 watts at 12 volts. Much more, it's, it's much steadier here. We're not seeing as much jumping. All right, 10 watts at 15 volts. Okay, 10 watts at 20 volts. All right, that's over my, uh, my limit on here. I'm going to have to reset the limit, and uh, we'll do try again here. All right, there we are. We're running at... Uh, 20 volts at 10 watts and it seems to be uh, holding it pretty steady there so turn that off and let's run this up to 15 watts see what we can get That seems to be doing pretty doggone good. No complaints. I mean, granted, this little guy is not going to be as good as a, you know, $300, $500 benchtop power supply. But if you're just playing around in your basement or you're just learning electronics and you're just wanting to have some fun and you don't want to chunk out a whole bunch of money, you can pick up one of these for, oh, I don't know, a dollar or so. I'll put a link to one down below. They're relatively cheap. And uh, one of these power delivery bricks is about $30. Now, the cheapest, um, you know, DC power supplies, like this top one, I think, is around $60, somewhere in that range. You know, you're just not going to find that kind of uh, digital easy power delivery in something like this for, you know, that kind of money. So if you're a guy who's just kind of starting out or if you need a uh, quick on-the-go selection of voltages then one of these things is uh, probably a pretty cool idea. You know what else is a pretty cool idea? Solder Stick, the sponsor of this video. They have some ingenious ways of connecting wires together with really out using solder. All you need is some heat. They also have ring terminals, spade terminals. Anything, any type of terminal you put on the end of a wire is gonna be better than just trying to shove, you know, twisted wires into some sort of connection to terminate your connection. So. Check them out here at the end. Maybe they have something useful to you. And if they do, tell them I sent you. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation, waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits, Spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, 
this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount.